Live from beautiful Coors Field here in Denver, Colorado, we've got a perfect night for baseball on the show. The Atlanta Braves going up against the Colorado Rockies. First pitch coming your way next. Just a little bit away from first pitch. Today's starter for Colorado, Kyle Freeland. What do you have on him, Siggy? Well, Boog, expect to see the ball in play with this guy on the mound. He's not exactly a big strikeout guy, so that means the defense will need to stay sharp. He's looking for soft contact, so communication is going to be key in this one. Okay, all set to go. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. The wind of the pitch. He caught it behind his back to first, and they get the out. Here's Brian Snickers lined up for the Braves. And this is an offense with a ton of pop, top to bottom, singing. Yeah, well, some players will say that home runs are mistakes. They were just a little too quick. Not this club. They're looking to hit the ball over the fence. Not any speedsters in this lineup. Not players that were looking to run around the bases. They're looking to jog. And I expect to see that kind of one approach ball. in this okay. one. Ozzie Albies, the next to hit, takes ball one. Out to short, Tovar. And that quickly, two away. Well, oh, we talked about how the ball is coming out of a pitcher's hand. The way it comes out of his hand as an infielder. Wow, really impressive. Here's Austin Riley. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. And that's off the inside edge. And it's one to know. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. Two outs, base is empty. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. A solo shot. It's one nothing. That was blasted. Absolutely, no doubt off the bat. So let's take a closer look inside the numbers. That blast from StatCast, 113 miles an hour off the bat, Ziggy. And it just flew out of here, Boog. Even if you only heard the ball hit the bat, you knew that was a home run. I mean, he put a perfect swing on it, and the numbers back it up. Base is empty with two away. And here's the first baseman, Matt Olson. There's the strike. Breaking ball inside. And that's ball one. Activity in the bullpen. Dick Bird getting ready to come on for Bud Black. Beeks, the lefty, warming up as well. The lefty fires. That's in there. And it's one and two. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. McMahon brings it in with a nice running grab. Braves get one on the big fly. And the home team down to run. Back after this on the show. Back here at Coors Field. And now here's the starter for Atlanta, Spencer Strider. 
Lots of punch outs. A real strikeout artist, Singy. Power pitcher. He's going to speed you up with the fastball velocity. And out of his hand will explode the breaking ball. Very difficult for hitters to keep that front side closed and hit the ball the other way because they know if they're not ready to pull the trigger, the fastball will beat them. Charlie Blackman in the box now. Take strike one. the corner out there on the mound he's setting the tone early with the fastball 98 miles per hour up on the scoreboard swings and misses struck him out Ezekiel Tovar digging in for the Rockies that clips a corner no ball one straight Wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss. No balls, two strikes. Well, you got the hitter already chasing that nasty slider. If you're on the mound, you just want to expand the zone right now. Get a swing and miss and get through this at bat. Just misses. And it's two and two. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. Rockies down to their last out. Now here's Nolan Jones. And the first pitch misses for ball one. A one-run lead. Yeah, the home team trying to pull it out. That misses. Yeah, that's ball two. Well, an interesting situation. One swing, you can tie up the ball game. But if you're patient and work a walk, then you bring the game-winning run to the plate. This one belted. Deep left field. On its way. Goal! A shot to the opposite field. And we are all tied up. It's 1-1. The brighter the lights, the more he shines. Yeah, this guy lives for big moments. And right there, made a statement big time. Good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. So it's all tied up thanks to the home run. Chris Bryant gets a chance to hit here. That one a little bit high. Ball one. One and oh. Two down, nobody on. Out in front with the swing, and that is strike one. Movement in the Atlanta bullpen. Joe Jimenez getting ready to come in for manager Brian Snicker. Matzik getting cranked up as well. Check swing. He went too far, and it's a strike. One ball, two strikes. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. Just one hit in the inning, but it was a big one right here as it ties the ball game. All even at one apiece. You're dialed into the show.
back here in Denver all set for the start of the inning and now it's the Braves DH Marcelo Zuna man at second nobody out Chris certainly one of the things in his head is trying to get the runner over yeah the way that we see the game played today though guys are not sacrificing as much just to get that runner across they're really looking at doing damage slugging is the name of the game
and the pitch. Yeah, I think part of that goes into it's just so hard to come up with hits. In today's game, starters don't go deep, and so hitters are seeing multiple pitchers every night, and that makes it more challenging just to come up with a single. And now the lefty misses inside, and the count is one and two. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. Uh, I think he might have gotten away with one right there. That was a very hittable pitch right over the heart of the plate, and I know that batter is kicking himself right now. Would like to get that pitch again. Just pulled the string on it, and the deception gets him the K. And here is Michael Harris. That one's in there. Strike one. Starts him with the breaking ball, but that's a pitch he's really comfortable hitting. You can't rely on breaking stuff to be automatic out pitches against him. Man, it's second. Ground ball right side. Slides, but he can't come up with it. Runner around third on his way to the plate. He will score, and the Braves take the lead. It's two to one. Well, that at bat had a lot of pressure riding on it, so really great job coming through right there. It's got to feel good. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Freeland keeping an eye on him. Freeland in his seventh season, 30 years old now, and he's playing runner on the go. Pitch misses. Throw. Save. Chris, his wheels were the difference maker on that play. Just got in there. Yeah, with StatCast's help, we see his top speed on this stolen base, and that's a big number. I mean, man, he really made his athleticism work for him on that one. Next offering is in for a strike. Larry Bullard, our umpire behind the plate. But Bullard's got a pretty standard strike zone. Sometimes they'll have you guessing a little bit, but overall, well-respected umpire in the league. Rudder goes again. Pitch inside. And the throw, he's out at third. Especially when you're trying to swipe third base, you have to get a decent jump off the pitcher. That wasn't it right there. And even though the throw skips in, they still slap the tag on him in time. Not a great attempt right there. The wind and the pitch. This one to Bryant. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. But they pick up one run on the RBI single, and this is now a 2-1 ball game. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now it's the second baseman, Brendan Rodgers. And here it comes. Check swing, but it's put in play. Albies. That's one out the bottom of the second. Nice job of deception right there by the pitcher. Got the hitter out good. there a little bit. Couldn't check his swing man. and induces a nice little ground out. Making a move at third. Entering is the now pinch runner, runner Sam Hillier. Number 16. Ryan McMahon steps to the plate. You have to stay disciplined in these at-bats. Try not to chase. A strikeout here is the last thing you want. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Cold night tonight, Boog, and that's a pretty firm fastball right there. I tell you what, memories of getting jammed, they are creeping into my mind right now. Run around at third, one gone. Next offering in there for a strike. And the count, one and two. Swung on, belted. That's back. And caught on the warning track. 
Runner tags for home. He'll score on the sack fly. It's 2-2. Two -two. Well, those can be pretty fun as an outfielder. Got to put it into his highest gear and go a long way to track that one down. Nothing better than that. You feel like a wide receiver playing football. Ground ball up the middle. Boots it. And he's going to make it to first. And we'll see how they score. Two outs, runner at first. Sean Bouchard digging in for the Rockies. First pitch misses. Diaz off of first with two away. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Swing and a miss, and he got him. That's the third out. He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. So coming into the game now on defense, Elauri's Montero. He takes over as the new first baseman. Runner in scoring position, no outs. Adam Duvall at the play. As the lefty gets to work, Jake swing, he went. And that's strike one. pitch on the ground to the left and it goes just foul next offering misses down and away Down on strikes and one out now. Here's Orlando Arcia. Up the middle. Dives, but it's off his glove. The throw is still in time. And they end up with a runner at third. Great job by the second baseman right there. Quick reaction to dive, knock that ball down, and big leaguers just don't panic, not the good ones. He gets up, makes the play, really good throw over to first base. That's the kind of composure that you want to see from a guy in that position. Here's Acuna now. He's over one. And fouled off. Trying to keep this a 2-2 game. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Swing and a miss. Ugly swing right there. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing oh. stuff in the dirt. Pitch misses there. It's a ball and two strikes. Kicks and fires. That no. just misses. And the count is even two and two. It's a good take. Looking. Huge strikeout there. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Bottom of the inning. Here's the center fielder, Brenton Doyle. The center fielder, Brenton Doyle. 
Strider back to work. Swing and a ball lifted left field on the move. Brings it in. Runner tags it second. And he makes it up to third with one away. The batter, the designated hitter, Charlie Blackman. Now it's Charlie Blackman. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. The goal is to give your teammate a chance to score from third. There's a few ways he can get it done, but his best chance is to drive one in the air, look for the right pitch up, and then smoke it. And the first offering is not close. At the belt and fires. Two balls, no strikes to count. Two balls, no strikes. And that's in there at the knees. Winning run at third, one down. Here in the last half of the third. And that one fouled off. Out to short, and he can't come up with it. In comes the winning run, and the Rockies walk it off and win it 3-2. Well, you come to the ballpark hoping you'll see something special that day, whether you're a player or a fan. A walk-off win, nobody forgets that. A memorable moment that will be logged in the backs of the minds of everybody that witnessed this here today. A 3-2 final score in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Shambi saying so long. Final line score for our ball game tonight. For the victorious Rockies, three runs on three hits, no errors. They left one runner on base. For Atlanta, two runs on just two hits, no errors. They left one runner on base. Time of the ball game: two hours and 56 minutes. <laughs>